Sun not up until 730 this morning as the days keep getting shorter and shorter. Of course, next week we'll have the 630 AM sunrises, which will be nice to have in the morning, but then we all have to adjust to 445 PM sunsets coming up next week after the time change this weekend. Monument below freezing 30 degrees there. Greeley's you're at 35 boulders at 36. So there's a chill in the air everywhere. Bailey's at 41. It's actually a little warmer in the mountains this morning than it is here along the front range because there's still some wind in the high country. Gusts have been up around 50 miles per hour around Georgetown and up over Berthet Pass. Not as windy as it was yesterday. Doppler 4000 showing just a little bit of light snow falling up around Rocky Mountain National Park this morning. And look at the cloud cover over the last hour or two. These low stratus clouds have been working their way into the metro area from the northeast. That's because of a cold front that uh, started in Nebraska yesterday and then backed its way into uh, the metro area overnight. Still watching the visibility numbers. So far, we're okay. All these low stratus clouds have the potential for generating some fog, but as of now, we just haven't seen that happen. Look at how much cooler it's going to be back behind the front. Ogallala and Sydney, Nebraska will be in the 40s today. Julesburg and Sterling about the same. Meanwhile, here in the metro area, the front's going to be right on top of us, so we'll drop about 10 degrees compared to yesterday. Tomorrow, the front stays parked right along the I-25 corridor, so start to warm up a little bit tomorrow, mid-60s, and then that front transitions into a warm front and moves to the east toward Kansas and Nebraska as we get into Saturday. That's going to allow a big warm up. 73 degrees here in Denver. The record for Saturday is 76, so we won't be far from record heat. A little breezy at times on Saturday, and then Sunday will be a cooler day. We'll drop down to around 60. Don't forget, we moved the clocks back one hour. Get that hour of sleep we lost this weekend. Uh, that we lost back in the spring. And then next week, still the chance for a few showers Tuesday and Wednesday. Could be a little snow mixed in there, but it doesn't look like much.